Hi, and welcome to the uh, webinar for Project 52. I'm glad you're here. I've got some uh, wonderful guests with us tonight, and we're going to chat a little bit about what Project 52 meant to them, how they, how they uh, went through it, what they learned, what they gained from it, and what you can gain from it. Uh, my name is Don Gennetti. I've been a photographer for about a bazillion years. Um, I've seen this industry change upside down and sideways, and, and I'm still here. So I think for me, that's kind of a, a badge. Um, Project 52 was a, uh, an idea that sprouted in my mind a couple of years ago, and I thought, you know, I'm looking at all these forums on uh, Flickr and uh, other, other forums and people talking about photography and talking about um, what they are they're doing in photography and lots of stuff, but I didn't see anybody doing anything in the world word of assignments. And as a commercial photographer, assignments are our bread and butter. That's what we have to do. So I realized that my background as a photographer and an art director could come in handy to create these assignments. I pulled on a lot of assignments that I actually have done for clients in small in a small market like Phoenix. Um, and we have taken those assignments from uh, portraiture, editorial, advertising. We shoot to layout. Uh, you'll end up getting a PSD file that has type and position. You have to shoot the image to layout just like you would if you were a commercial photographer somewhere in a smaller market. We do not uh, cover very much wedding or maternity or babies. That's not our focus. We're more commercial. Um, in other words, you're shooting for someone to use the photographs in an ad, brochure, magazine, website, etc., not to hang on the wall um, uh, for, or for grandma. Uh, that's a different kind of photography. There's some crossover, but if that's your genre, it's better for you to be with people who really know that than me because I can't help too much with that. Project 52 is uh, uh, complete with a workbook, a really sizable workbook. It's at this point 200 pages. It's all about your um, preparing to become a professional. We go through portfolio preparation and we also go through different methods for you to find clients. There are clients out there, uh, clients waiting for you to call them too, by the way. It's kind of interesting. We have a graphic designer on our regular Project 52 group, and uh, we were talking last week, and she noted that even though her website is full of graphic design with photography, and she's in Connecticut, even though her design page is full of photography, she has never had one single photographer approach her for work. Not one. So what I'm saying is sometimes you go out to these blogs and people go, oh, there's no work out there. Well, here's a designer that has to go and look for photographers because not one photographer has ever taken the time to approach her for work. No mailers, no emails, nothing. And she's a good designer, folks. Trust me, she's a good designer. Um, shocking, but at the same time, not surprising. The world's changed. A lot of people haven't changed with it. The world that's changed that we see now, we've got to go out and grab what we want. We've got to work for it. We've got to market it. Part of Project 52 Pro is to help you do that. Now, Project 52 is broken into two groups. The free group, which uh, gets all the assignments, um, that, that'll happen right here on project52.org. You'll see, you see the page on my screen here, project52.org. That gives you all the assignments and the, uh, uh, tutorials, et cetera, that go with those assignments. And they will be audio critique. Everybody who enters a picture gets a critique. You can go up and download the audio, um, find your picture by basically looking through the Flickr page, uh, and seeing your photograph, you'll find your, your critique there. Uh, and we have, and that's, that's free, it'll always be free. And we have the Project 52 Pro Group. And the Pro Group, that's, a, that's a, a different animal. That group has the workbook and the business 
and the photography and the portfolio building. Uh, we also do one-on-one -on -one phone calls uh, with members of the pro group. We spread them since I'll have more this year. We'll spread them out, uh, but we will uh, we'll chat at least six times you and I throughout the year, at least six times with a, a good half hour chat, uh, looking at your portfolio, answering questions, what have you. And at the same time, the community that's built up around this is just amazing. We just have a fantastic community every time we do this. Uh, it's a very exciting uh, thing to do and very exciting time. So let me, uh, let me explain the process. Uh, we, we put up a, a, uh, an assignment and let me grab an assignment here. Uh, let's see this assignment here. We put up an assignment on project52.org. Tell you what the specifics are. Uh, in this particular case, the photographer has to shoot something that will be a point of purchase and posters for a company that's trying to increase their business in fixing car heaters. Now that's specific, isn't it? it we're talking car heaters, point of purchase, which are the big posters that you see inside stores uh, where you buy things. That's called a point of purchase, a POP. And also posters that would go in and around the area, marketing posters. So what does that mean? tell the photographer. Well, tells the photographer, you've got to catch somebody's eye in a real quick amount of time. It also gives the photographer something to shoot to. It's going to be a vertical. It's going to have a little bit of copy on it, so you're going to have to leave room for type. Um, it's going to be, it's a very, very specific assignment. There are other assignments uh, uh, and creative uh, groups out there who do assignments like cold or red or whatever. And those are great. I love those. Those are real conceptual. But you're probably not going to get a call from an art director late on a Thursday afternoon and have him say to you, I need a shot that says red or love or something. They're going to say, I need a shot that says my restaurant's the best in town. Uh, and I've got a food guy standing, standing by to process the food. Can you be here? And by the way, that has to be square to fit our menu that's a photo assignment in a small market. Now, those of you who may be um, thinking that all photography in the world generates in New York City um, may be partially right, but unfortunately, you're also big in a big part wrong. There are many commercial photographers all over this country who've never set foot in New York. New York's a different place. You can specialize like crazy in New York. If you're going to open a studio in Phoenix, you can still have a specialty, but you better know how to shoot a ring on a finger that goes in a square ad for a newspaper if you're going to keep cash flow coming. And it's all about cash flow, folks. It's all about keeping the dollars moving through. And again, whether you want to be a professional photographer or just want to up your game and become more professional at what you do, this is how you do it. Project 52 is geared specifically for the photographer who wants to become at least ready to be professional at the end of the year. I, I'm not going to guarantee anyone that, oh, gee, you'll be professional in shooting for Vogue magazine at the end of the year. But you're going to be so far ahead of the game than you are now uh, that it's amazing. So to, uh, to tell you a little bit, and, I, and we're going to do some questions. So if you have some questions, hold on to them. But to tell you a little bit about um, their uh, experience with Project 52, I've got a couple of folks here who've been with Project 52. And uh, I uh, would like to introduce you to Steve Collins. And Steve is a photographer in Fredericksburg. When Steve Collins started Project 52, he was not a professional photographer. Hey, Steve, how you doing? I'm great. How are you doing, Don? I'm doing great. Are you a professional photographer today? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so proud of Stephen. Here's his website. By the way, Steve, you got a new website. Yes, I did. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Um, tell me a little bit. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, this is kind of fun to share. I'm going to share your book with them. Uh, Steve did a book called Fredericksburg Today. Uh, and it's on sale at a at the Griffin Bookshop and Coffee Bar there in Fredericksburg. 
And uh, that's pretty exciting, Steve. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about why you came to Project 52. Why did I come to Project 52? Yes. Well, one of the things that I um, <clears throat> was felt the need for was as close to working in a studio and having a critique system and a mentorship um, without actually doing that. Um, at the time when I started it, I was still uh, had a day job, so I really couldn't find a studio, and I'm not so sure that there's many studios left that do that, and I, there certainly aren't any in my immediate area. Um, so Project 52 was a perfect fit because it gave me assignments and it gave me feedback on the assignments. Yeah, we did a lot of business work with you too as well. How did that help? Oh, that was immense. Um, you know, of course, every photographer is an artist and uh, the business side is uh, the 500-pound uh, gorilla in the, in the room, but uh, it can't be ignored. And uh, your ability to impart the important parts of the business um, was spot on. Um, that's one of the things I enjoyed so much about the, the, the Project 52 overall was is that you, uh, you separated the wheat from the chaff and, and, and gave it to us straight up and, and the important stuff that we needed to know. Oh, thank you. That's, that was very much a part of what I wanted to do. Is, um, for those of you who don't know me, um, the folks who will who do know me will tell you I'm a no nonsense kind of guy, uh, not a internet guru kind of guy. Uh, couldn't care less about celebrity. I'm really really having a blast giving back to a community that has been my life since I was early 20s, and uh, I've never ever had a bad day being a photographer. Steve, is is do you agree with this? The worst day being a photographer is still better than the best day doing anything else I've ever done. Uh, <laughs> I can't even begin to, to agree with that. Um, it's phenomenal. I, I, you, you know, pulling an all-nighter or an 18-hour day goes so much faster than an eight-hour eight day on somebody else's clock and somebody else's schedule. It, the, the corporate world was just sucking the life out of me. And I am so much happier, so much less stressed. Um, so, funny side note, though, is after leave, after being in corporate and uh, military career for so many years, it was kind of weird uh, uh, getting used to my, working on my own. Um, you know, I, I, I wake up early in the morning and I think, oh, wow, this is the time I would have been going to catch my van pool. And I laugh and I go to the kitchen and get some coffee. It is tough, but you know what? You get through it, and you and you find that working for yourself has uh, so many rewards. It's almost unbelievable how many rewards working for yourself has, um, and it also has those brief moments of well, what I refer to as terror. <laughs> Fear, unadulterated, blind, seat of your pants terror. There is nothing more motivating. <laughs> I have found <laughs> fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then just cold, blind fear. And you know, when you are working for yourself and uh, things are looking a little low, you get out the door faster, you stay up later, you get up earlier, and you don't waste time. And you find that, for me, for me, I found that life was sweeter. I've just had a blast in my life doing uh, what I've done. I've got to meet some of my, my heroes, but... Uh, got to meet and, and actually shake hands with Muhammad Ali, which was pretty much, that was pinnacle for me. That was pretty cool. Uh, and I never would have done that if I hadn't been a photographer. So Steve, tell us a little bit what you're doing there in Fredericksburg. 
Or well, Frederick. You're, you're, no, you're in Frederick. Fredericksburg. Yeah. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, well, you know, it's kind of a unique situation here in this town. Um, it's a small town. Um, it's a small town mentality. Uh, the Facebook isn't exactly the uh, best marketing tool, um, or the internet in itself isn't exactly the best marketing tool. Uh, it's kind of unique. I mean, the young folks, anybody under 40 is on the internet, but uh, there's not too many folks here that are business owners. Um, so right now I'm uh, working on, a waiting, Wednesday I'm getting uh, 300 postcards delivered, 100 of each of, for different genres. And I'm doing a direct mail campaign um, because that seems to be the most effective way of, of reaching p potential clients uh, besides knocking on their doors right now. Um, we beyond a, that, go ahead, I'm sorry. I was just saying, Project 52, we actually have a, a, um, a method for doing that, for finding, photograph for, for finding photography clients around where you live. And the method's pretty successful, wouldn't you say? Yes, yes. Um, and of course, the internet helps that a lot. Uh, yes, it does. You can, you can do business searches and zip codes, and there's some other online databases. Uh, there's some library databases that you might be able to tap into, uh, which also gives you economics uh, of, the, of, the, of the businesses so that you're not picking on these uh, low dollar uh, mom and pops. You can find some multi million dollar corporations right in your own backyard that you didn't know existed. And one of the things that's kind of cool about that is you didn't know they existed, and so many other photographers never paid that much attention to them to find out they were there. Yep. Yep. And, uh, I, I know that uh, we've had some of the photographers there. In fact, I think Eric had this. Uh, Eric's going to be coming up here in a moment. But Eric had a situation where he went to see a big company that does a lot of photography near his studio, and uh, no one had ever approached them. That was you, wasn't it, Eric? Um, no, I don't think that was me. Maybe it was. Uh, maybe it was Rob. Um, but yeah, that was a that was an interesting thing too. There was a big company, and no one had ever approached them for photography. Um, so you got to keep going. So what what's the what's the plan now for for you, Steve? What's what's going on now? Well, I am uh, I, throughout the uh, fall and winter. Uh, besides publishing the book um, and uh, having the pleasure of being featured in uh, a local paper, um, I've been building out my portfolio working with uh, historic inns and bed and breakfasts in the area. Um, the bed and breakfast uh, market is huge in this area and obviously uh, each place needs its own unique photography. Uh, it's not like a stock hotel. They, their rooms need to represent what they look like on the web. So um, I'm getting ready to build out another portfolio so that I can uh, hit up all the B&Bs because there's just a gazillion of them around here. Um, I mean, I could almost niche market in, in B&Bs and inns. Um, Let's see, beyond that, uh, magazines is my next uh, attack. Um, I have a stack of magazines down here on the floor next to me that I have to uh, go through all the mastheads and get some information out of them and start contacting them. Excellent. Um, let's see, what else are we doing? That's that, that's pretty much what I've got on the immediate. I know you. I know you're busy, and it was nice for you to pull this time. I know you're actually uh, busy today. Um, would you recommend uh, Project Fifty Two to other photographers? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, it, it was so rewarding. It was challenging, humbling, and rewarding. Um, and uh, I. I especially uh, enjoyed the challenge of the business aspect of it because, like I said, every artist loathes having to do the business portion of the of it, which is a major part. And yeah. um, and you know, you you like I said, you cut to the chase and and gave us the meat and potatoes so that we you know we could spend two years sitting in some photography school. And yeah, you might be. A, great artist when you come out but they don't teach you 
how to get clients. No. And you know, whether you do Project 52 or, or not, please don't go and spend money on four years of art school. Please, please, please. <laughs> hey, thanks, Steve. I'm going to go up and uh, bring Don Fidel in. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. And uh, Don, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Don's website is Kadona. Kadona.com. And uh, we've got a little error message here. Uh, I'm going to reload the page there. Don, there we go. Um, Don lives in sunny Jacksonville, where it's like uh, 98 degrees today. Is that what it was? <laughs> Not quite, but uh, it's, it's warmer than 40. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's a very interesting uh, time, folks. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and we are freezing our butts off today. It got to be 45 was the high. Uh, it was 30 at, uh, or 28 this morning when I took my kid to to school. So uh, we're experiencing that. And apparently in New York City, it was like 65 and sunny. So figure that out. So, Don, you started Project 52 um, right after uh, took a workshop with me, right? We went to Mexico? Yes, that's correct. Um, actually, I've taken a couple workshops from you. And then went to uh, Project 52 and then Project 52 Pro. Yes. So you've been, been doing it for quite a while. What, what do you, you obviously enjoyed Project 52 because you jumped in and took the Pro last year. Yes, that's correct. I did. So what did you find most, I, for me, most satisfying? Well, <clears throat> You know, it, it's just the growth that I, I found in myself. Um, you know, you, you can kind of separate this into two aspects, and there, there were two motivations for me doing it. Um, the first was, you know, as an artist, as a photographer. And I, I can see a big difference in my work, uh, even between, you know, the regular Project 52 and, and what I've done last year. Yes. Um, and then the other thing was, you know, I'm not a full-time photographer. So I'm, I'm probably what you would consider a, a semi-professional, right? I do it for money, but it's not the only gig that I do. And it's really the kind of the, the business aspects of it, um, you know, from someone who does do this uh, as a living, and that's, you know, what you have to consider, um, you know, the real aspects of it, as I, I like to put it, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm kind of, I'm probably going to echo a lot of what, what Steve said, but, you know, in, in my heart, I know that it's 80% business and 20% doing your art. And, and you, I wanted to make sure that when I made that transition, I had uh, my eyes wide open. And, and you are a businessman. So in theory, business, yes. <laughs> business is not uh, foreign to what you do. So when, uh, when I started talking about business it's always interesting sometimes when you have business people in there but um don would come on and say yeah you know you're right that's the same thing that we face in this uh, the business he's in this is how you do sales this is how you you uh you continual continually get new clients um uh, so it's all you know it's all the same really i mean we all do about the same thing but Photography has its own interesting little aspects, and everybody um, that I know who's gone into it has said, wow, I wish I'd had more of the understanding of photograph photographic business and, um, and, you know, before I opened those doors or before I went out and did it, because uh, you can find yourself in a world of hurts pretty fast. Yeah, I, I would agree with that 100%. So when you when you talk to someone and you recommend Project 52, because I know you've done that, what, what do you tell them about Project 52 and, and, how, and how you uh, personally uh, dealt with it? Because I know you're a very busy guy. <laughs> so uh, there was a lot of assignment work there, and uh, you, you barreled through it. Um, well, the first thing... You know, it provides structure, and I think structure is always good. I mean, um, there's one thing going out and shooting what you want to shoot, but there's a discipline that comes with shooting what someone tells you to shoot. 
and, and that's that's reality. Um, and, and that's something you know again that this gives you you know it gives you a framework and it rather than being constricting, it actually I found it kind of liberating because um, you know you learn to take what you do and apply it to what these assignments are. And that was very beneficial to me, and I really appreciated that. And, and then I think the other aspect of it is is the critiques. Um, and, and again, that's kind of twofold. It, it's, you know, hearing you review an image. And I, I found myself paying more attention to details, um, you know, because of that. I think, you know, the, if you differentiate your photography from, you know, the average Joe, I think, you know, it is it is the details. And that's probably true in any profession, but, um, you know, it's, it's the details that matter. But the other side of it is is listening to you critique other images and w the work that other people have done. And yeah, I agree, you know, John. You know, I think you can what learn as much from hearing a critique of someone else's as you can learning from your own. Yeah, I mean, and it's 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 seeing what you like in other images and what you don't like, and you know that that does feed back into your own work, and I think it helps refine it. So I thought it was very helpful. What's uh, what's next for for uh, Don? I'm going to click on the still life. This is this is uh, something I'm always kidding Don about because um, Don never was interested in shooting still life, um, and yet you do it really well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, what's next for me is I'm trying to. My business right now is is more consumer oriented, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to grow that in a, in a way that makes sense for where I am right now. Um, and that's really my focus right now. I, I shoot a lot of dancers. Um, so that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work with uh, costume designers that make tutus, for example, mm -hmm. um, and kind of leverage that. I'm trying to work with studios, um, you know, things like that. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I uh, I appreciate you coming on. You're, you're going to hang out with us for a while. There'll probably be some questions later. I appreciate sure. it you. very much. And by the way, I still think the uh, the hands with the wrenches is just an awesome photograph. Just amazing. And you know I don't use that term very often. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don. Let's uh let's meet Eric Muertetes. Eric is out in. Um, in the Bay Area, specifically where, Eric? I'm in Dublin, so I'm about uh, 45 minutes from San Francisco, um, depending on traffic. <laughs> <laughs> what, they have a lot of traffic out there, Eric? Do they? Uh, sometimes. It, it's 45-minute <laughs> drive. It's an hour and a half uh, during rush hour. Oh, my. So I met Eric. And, uh, and Don, hey, Don, Fidel, I love that one with, that black and white of that gal with the thing spread out, it still stops me cold in my tracks. I love it. You guys got some great work here. Um, Thank you, Eric. Uh, Actually, this yeah. is a favorite shot of mine, Eric. Um, this one right here, because that, that plays right into what I do. So I really appreciate that with the ballerinas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a killer shot. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's really yeah, cool yeah. how you, you've taken your website and taken some of. Uh, the ideas of the of the assignments that I've done uh, with you, and you've uh, actually done it kind of yourself there, you know, energy and uh, mm -hmm. the whole thing. And oh, there's there's that's what's her name, Jasmine. Jasmine, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, Eric, I met you back in Raleigh, North Carolina, when you took a workshop from me, and that's right. uh, you ended up being on the same plane on the way home. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you had to make a, a, a scheduled uh, stop in Phoenix, so. Uh, we got to know each other pretty well, and uh, Eric uh, has been in Project 52 Pro and uh, done so well, and you have a studio there in Dublin, a beautiful studio, I may add, and how's business? It's finally starting to take off, so it's, it's had its ups and downs, and like I told you at the beginning of December, I knew I was really going to have to... to uh, wait until January came around and, and I did and uh, resisted 
the temptation to go back and try to get other work and it's looking like one more job coming in and I pretty much will have my year covered uh, from a variety of things. That's amazing. And it's January. That's amazing. So you're- It hasn't happened yet, but it's close. <laughs> well, yeah, you've got, uh, I know you've got some uh, big jobs in the wings there. And it's a numbers game, as we talk about on on uh, Project 52. It is a numbers game. You've got to uh, develop uh, a lot of different ways to find the work that you want to do and find the clients that are willing to pay you for it. So um, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's part of the fun of doing what we do. But it also can be quite... Um, uh, nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, especially where I am because I don't have to go very far before I trip over a photographer that is just amazing. Um, you know, I've gone to APA and ASMP events and met some very well known photographers like Eric Almas and Michelle Clement. And, you know, my sponsor into ASMP is Bob Adler, who's been a corporate guy for years. and you know, I met all these architectural guys who are Russell Abraham. And, you know, I, I could trip into them and bump into them everywhere. So there's there's plenty of talent out here. There's that's, no lack. That's kind of interesting because you're in a town with a lot of photographers. And Steve Collins is in a, a town with very few photographers. There's a lot of um, uh, consumer shooters in Steve's area. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it's pretty tight as far as commercial. Yeah, there's there are so many really really good photographers here. It's it's just amazing. Well, what did you like best about Project Fifty Two? Would you share that with the folks? Well, as you know, coming back on the plane with you from uh, North Carolina, which is a long story why I ended up in North Carolina, but. Uh, I remember talking with you, and when I got back, I, I uh, had emailed you and said, you know, hey, I have no idea what a commercial assignment is, but I think I want to do this stuff. And I had asked you to give me a couple different assignments, and then the next thing I knew, you started Project 52. And I had been talking to my wife for about a year about wanting to make a switch into, into photography, into commercial photography. Uh, especially, and because I'd done weddings for a couple of years and on the side while I had my other job, and uh, coincidentally, when you started 52, I knew my job had maybe two months left in it, and the timing was perfect, and I just, to me, it was everything I needed. You know, I, I had no idea where to start. I had no idea anything about the business. Uh, and being a professional most of my life, either in construction or in the litigation as an expert witness, you know, I came from pretty much knowing everything and doing my job with my, without even thinking about it, to something totally new. And it's just like exploring new territory and not, you know, not having any, any map at all, uh, no idea how to get there or who to talk to to get there or anything else so it was it was just made the order for me you know the business has changed a lot since I uh, I started as a photographer I um, I did not go to photography school uh, I started uh, as uh, basically I started as, as a guy shooting pictures of of models and thought that was gee, a whole lot of fun and I got to be pretty good at it here in Phoenix so I thought I'd moved to uh, L.A. where, of course, you know, L.A. needed me. You know what I'm saying, Eric? Yeah, oh, yeah. They needed me. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I was mistaken about that part. <laughs> <laughs> L.A. needed another photographer like they needed a hole in the head. Um, so uh, uh, I, I assisted. I just did a lot, a lot of assisting. And um, those things are really hard to find these days. The, that assistant... Um, path is just no longer a path that photographers can depend on 
just isn't. And uh, one of the things about Project 52 that I wanted to make sure happened was that we could take the place of some of that stuff that you would have learned as an assistant, but you don't have any opportunity to do it, like shooting to layout or right. shooting under deadline um, or having to uh, one, of the, one or two of the assignments, we have to create a photograph that has to be configured both horizontally and vertically. Mm -hmm. And um, those are real life jobs. Um, sometimes you have to take pictures of stuff that you don't really care to shoot. It'd be great if you were only interested in shooting one thing and all of those jobs came down the pike. But that's not what happens when you open up uh, your studio. If you're a uh, pro-am shooter uh, and you've got a, a full-time day job, you can certainly do that. But when you have a mortgage and a studio payment and, um, you know, you went out and got a loan for a, a couple of Dynalite packs and stuff, you can't turn down work because it's just, well, gee, I don't know. I don't think I want to take pictures of wrenches today. Of course you don't. You take the pictures. That's what you do. That's what we do as commercial photographers. Still have those specialties that we enjoy. And uh, I know, Eric, you, um, you've got a wide... Yeah variety of work that you like shooting location yeah. studio yeah you just caught on something when i remember when you started 52 you'd get to certain assignments and i go i don't want to do this and <laughs> i thought well i don't i never want to do this kind of work and i would do the assignment and it was funny because this year i finally put a print portfolio together and i can't tell you how many assignments were in the first print portfolio that originally I thought, oh, I, I'm not, I don't want to do this. And and then I found out, oh, no, there's a reason why Don is having me, have me do this, because it, it all fits together. Yeah, there there, yeah, there is. And, and, you know, when you get to the end and you, you go out and you hang your shingle up, you don't have to do everything. I mean, you don't have to, you know, in fact, I even caution you not to do everything. You don't want to be a food shooter and aerials and cars and boats and trucks and mm -hmm. dogs and kids. And you can't, you just can't. Um, but you certainly need to be proficient enough that if a little gig comes in and uh, very first time a, a client called me up to shoot jewelry, I had never shot jewelry before. That of course was not something I shared with the guy who called me to shoot jewelry. I did what I always do. I said, Oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> And I did the same thing. Well, yeah, sure. But I took my experience of shooting product and um, I, I took it into jewelry and uh, I wrestled with it for a while. And I know you did as well with uh, uh, yep. one of the jobs you had. You wrestled with it for a while. But since you know light and you know what you're doing, you figure it out and you get it done. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a fantastic opportunity uh, and uh, even if I do say so myself, but it is a fantastic opportunity to learn some of the stuff that you would have learned as an assistant, as a second shooter at a um, uh, at a studio somewhere without having to do that, because it, a lot of that can't be done. Um, right. By the way, I will mention we're at the uh, little past. Oh, we're at the three quarter point here. I will mention that enrollment is open for Project 52. So if you go to Project 52 dot org. Uh, and click on uh, either the uh, project or the uh, uh, page that says, gosh, I can't remember. Uh, it says uh, free webinar for Project 52. If you go there, you can actually enroll for Project 52 Pro. Um, it's going to be, uh, I only, I'm only doing um, two, two sessions of this a week this year. Uh, we will do a session that meets on Monday evenings, and that's 7 to 8 Mountain Standard Time, and that's Arizona time, so it's always 7 to 8 for me, but sometimes it, it changes for other people because Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. Uh, and I'm also doing Saturday mornings quite early, uh, which would be fine for the East Coast, but uh, Saturday mornings are for those who want to get up real early or those folks in Europe and um, the Mideast. That'll be uh, afternoon and early evening for the for Europe and Mideast. So uh, if you're in Europe and you want to take it, uh, you're great. Uh, you'll have a time. We're going to do another webinar next uh, Saturday morning. 
for those folks, but it is open. Registration is open. So if you're interested, go jump on it. I'll have to close it at some point, probably fairly soon. Let me, um, let me open it up for questions here. And if you have some questions, you just go down the little question thing and I will see your hand go up uh, on my on my screen here and we will we will take the question. And we got a question right here. We've got Bob Ronaldo. Bob, I'm gonna unmute you. Hi Bob, how you doing? Hmm, maybe Bob doesn't have a mic. Let's see. Bob, Bob says, um, equipment needed. Uh, you need a camera and some, uh, you know, a couple of different lenses, but we do not tell you that you have to shoot this with a strobe or a hot light or what have you. You shoot to your comfort zone. If you're a all natural light shooter, like we've had some, uh, guys will back me up. We've had, uh, M, uh, M Thomas, uh, who's a, uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful photographer, mostly natural light. Uh, we've got Virginia, who's mostly natural light over on the, the West Coast. Uh, and we also have uh, guys like Steve and Eric and Don. Don shoots everything with strobe. Uh, that's his, his signature style. That's what he likes to do. Um, so, no, there's no special equipment needed other than a camera because you're going to shoot to your abilities and to your um Productivity, so to speak. So if you're whatever you're shooting now, you're going to be fine. You might you might need you might need a desk lamp though. <laughs> oh, no, Eric. <laughs> That's a nod to our our uh, good friend M, who uh, did the most amazing photographs you've ever seen with a desk light. She didn't have a strobe, so she'd take a desk light and some uh, um, tissue paper or what have you, and uh, and uh, it was it was great. It was great. So well, I got some questions on here. How many assignments, Matthew Stillman? How many assignments do the pros get? They get fifty-two assignments, Matthew. Fifty-two assignments. Not all of the assignments are photographic. However, um, you can always jump in and do a photographic assignment because the same assignment that I give to the 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 um, uh, the free version. That's the assignment you get. You just get more um, parameters, more specifics with it, and you get the business stuff that the, the free ones do not do. Um, here's a question for Steve. Steve, what could the Project 52 program do that would have improved your experience even more? Uh, <laughs> that's a tough one. Uh, what could the Project 52 experience that would Improve my experience even more. Wow, I maybe a little bit more into the business. Um, I've been listening to some photographers, podcasts, and what have you, and <clears throat> some of the information that they're providing. Um, but I. I'll be honest with you, I feel pretty fulfilled uh, with what Don has provided. Now, granted, I've been going to his workshops for a number of years, so I was prepared. I knew what I was getting into because, you know, Don, Don s starts at 90 miles an hour and he doesn't stop. Um, uh, also, but, Steve, since you've taken my workshop, I cut you a lot of slack, right? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the beauty of it is, is that uh, the more you try, the harder, the higher his expectations of you become, which uh, is a good thing. Thanks. So, so I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I can. Uh, I'm not sure I could see anything right now in my mind that would uh, would increase my expectations. Got a question from Harry Steelman. Harry, just go to project52.org and you can sign up. Got a message from. Uh, Anjanet Millet, and looks like they just signed up. And I see, oh, okay. That's some weird the way the questions are coming in. Okay. Is the pro group only available for limited time? The sign up is only available for limited time. Something else will be happening as we get out into the year, but yes, it is only available 
for the, I'd like to get everybody signed up before February because we hit it hard. February 3rd is the first Monday. Uh, here's a question. Does the free version include some business guidance too? A little. Yes. There's always business going on in the Flickr group. Right, guys? Yes. Yep. Uh, here's a question from Matthew Silman. Can I talk a little bit more about the workbook for the pro? The workbook for the pro is a business marketing self-evaluation workbook. We do a lot of stuff with uh, uh, building a marketing plan, um, locating. We go right down into the nitty-gritty of locating clients in your area, how you do it, uh, how you set it up, um, how you uh, find the people you're looking for. Once you identify what you're going to do and where those people are, trust me, all of a sudden a big fog lifts and you start to see where there are possibilities for photography. Uh, it's quite a workbook. Um, what do you say, guys, about the workbook? Yep. It, you, you, you could have said it better. That fog lifts, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, there is just potential clients everywhere. Yep. Uh, here's a question from Michael Beauchamp. Do I suggest to go free first and then pro? Um, no, I don't. I, I think that's a suggestion. I mean, that I don't recommend you do either one. You, ha you have to be comfortable with where you're going to go, Michael. So um, if uh, if uh, that works for you, then, uh, you know, the free one works for you, then that's just fine. So uh, the, uh, the pro is going to be asking more of you. Um, here's a question for Don Fidel. Uh, Don, can you speak to your experience participating in the basic group versus the pro group? What were the benefits, differences between the two? This question is from Shanna Baker. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I, the, the, I think there's two basic differences. Um, the the free group, or I don't know how you want to, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's a little more general. Um, there's a lot less business discussion, and the assignments are... Um, I think a little bit more generalized. So, um, you know, they want you to shoot um, some specific assignment, and you know, th th this is the market, and this is what you're supposed to do. The pro group is oriented more towards you. Um, so, if you shoot something, it's to your style and to your liking. So, if if I'm I am a people photographer, so um, almost everything that I shot for the pro group was people oriented. Um, whereas opposed to there were more, um, you know, product shots, for example, uh, on the uh, on the other one, and then the other differentiator I think was the business side. There's a, a big concentration on thinking about your market, thinking about how you're going to identify your market, how you're going to address your market, that type of thing. So it, it, the pro group really is towards you know you becoming a professional photographer and understanding and addressing those aspects of it so that you can survive. You know, you got to make money and, and that's a, a big part of it. You know, I might also add we do discuss our some of our jobs that we, we may not discuss in the public forum. Yeah. Here's a question from Charles Cousteau, what's the time involvement for participating in the P52 Pro? Charles, I would say for the Pro, for you to get the maximum out of it, you're going to put in a couple of hours a week um, solid to do that, to really get the maximum. And some of those workbook, uh, uh, you guys remember the first the uh, assessments and things? Those took time to put together, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so there's... There's time. And then, of course, your shoot is the shoot that you do is as involved as you make it. And I think it was very important for uh, Don to, to say that when we give you an assignment, we know that some of you are people shooters. You want to be a people shooter in the pro group. Whatever the assignment is, it's also massage to if you're a people shooter, you can do this. There will be a few exceptions where we'll really, really want you to shoot a product or a vehicle or something. But in most cases, if you're a people shooter, you can do the assignment that way. And if you're a product shooter, you'll be able to do the assignment that way. So at the end of the, the uh, 
the, at the end of the free group, you're going to have the 52 shots that you did. At the end of the pro group, you're going to have uh, a good number of portfolio ready shots because they're going to be within the genre and the style that you um, are, are going to. Um, and here's Reese. Hey, Reese, how you doing? Is there a difference between P52 and P52 Pro? Yes, uh, at least there is. P52 Pro is much more business uh, and specific oriented. Uh, and the free one is um, P52 is uh, uh, assignments. It's a lot of fun. I definitely, definitely uh, think you'll all have a great time with it for sure. Steve, what could the Project 52? Oh, we read that one. Tucker, listen only. Yes, this is a webinar for uh, listen only. Is this audio only or did I do it wrong? Nope, you are good. Jess Edler, Jess from the Tuesday Night Crew is here. We're all coming in. So that's just great. So uh, right now we've answered all the questions we've got. Let me know if you've got any more. If you don't, I'll just uh, I'll just uh, wrap this up and... Uh, I, I appreciate uh, all of you jumping in here, and I really, really. Uh, here's oh, we do have a question. Oops. Oh, questions keep coming at the bottom. I see. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is it okay to miss some assignments when you go pro? Absolutely, absolutely. It happens. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, Interested in getting better, not necessarily running a business. Is this still for me? My from Michael Carpenter. Guys, I'll let one of you answer it. How about yes. Don? Don Don isn't interested in opening a studio. What do you think, Don? Yeah, I mean, yes, I, I, absolutely. If you're interested in photography, then you know, absolutely yes. Um, I, I got a lot out of both, but to be honest with you, I grew more, and this, you know, this may have nothing to do with the pro version, I don't know, but I, I really grew more, I felt, between the, the free version and the pro version, um, and I'm talking artistically. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, you get assignments um, that push you, uh, things you would normally wouldn't do, and just the, the going through the process of that, um, I think, you know, helps you. As an artist, Charlie Gill uh, says he just signed up. What can he do more this month to get ready? Charlie, uh, more stuff coming to you. We get you signed up. There'll be stuff coming to you. Um, momentary, uh, Harry. It's uh, project www.project52.org forward slash experience, and it'll say there'll be a little button there that says subscribe. What skill level should I be to join the pro group? Guys, what do you think? Whatever. Mm, I, think you should, I think you should have a pretty good handle on, on your gear. Um, but uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of mentoring and there's a lot of peer support so that if you're, if you're fumbling or weak in an area, it, you, know, you just chime in and, and everybody will help you out. It's... it's uh, you're not on your own. You're definitely not stranded on your own, and it's not just you and Don. It's it's a, it's a good peer support group. Yeah, I think we've had some pretty some people who basically were just starting out. I mean, Bonds are, uh, gosh, I think he had just gotten a camera, and you know, you look at his work today, and it's just astounding the leaps and bounds that he made. And he's not the only one. We've had others that were just basically starting oh, out. We have so many. I mean, the entire pro group this year was just phenomenal. Here's a question from Jackie Velmonte. Do we have to have a lot of professional experience to join the pro version? No, Jack, you do not. But by the end of it, you will be a sage, um, a sage photographer. Uh, people are not seeing the button there. It just says simply subscribe, folks, on the on the web page there. What type of feedback can you expect? Serious feedback. Serious uh -huh. feedback. Um, absolutely. We uh, we we you know like I say, you're going to be there's a it's a small group. Uh, we will have a lot of people in the free in the in the Project Fifty Two Pro. It's a small group, so not only will you get feedback from me, you also get feedback from the community, and everyone learns from everyone. 
It's very, very strong. Mike, there should be a button there. Uh, oh, is, there's no registration required for the pre. No, the free Project 52 uh, is absolutely um, free. free. You, you show up if you show up and you don't if you don't, just like real life. Uh, Don, how much, if any, emphasis placed on workflow and post-processing? We, we do a lot of it. We do a lot of that. Um, going right into... Uh, we do uh, this this year in the pro will be even more than we did before. Is the pro on Flickr as well? Not sure. Yes, it will be on Flickr as well, but it's 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 closed. It's a private group, so whatever gets said in there stays private. Does difficulty and level assignments ramp up from easy to difficult over the course of 52 weeks? Is say pretty consistent throughout? The difficulty of the assignments is based in the assignment itself. Any assignment can be extremely difficult or extremely easy based on the assignment itself and how you approach it. Um, do they? Do we constantly uh, make it harder and harder and harder? Not really. Not really. Um, we uh, we just get tougher. <laughs> we just get tougher. Here's a question from Smitra Van Paul. Do I guide? On website and approaching clients, what do you think, guys? Oh yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, will we get any help in Photoshop or Lightroom? Absolutely, we're doing a whole lot of that stuff this time. Absolutely, Thomas, uh, how do you pay for the Pro? Pro, it's on the page. I'm getting it here. Are you guys getting it on Lighting Essentials or Project Fifty Two? It simply says subscribe. There's a little button there. Maybe I need to make another graphic. And so maybe it's just not popping up. I'm going to kill the, uh, the uh, rec 